previously on The Chipmunk Show. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do, gang. We're gonna roll up our sleeves and get to some honest to goodness work to get some caps coming in. Slocum Joes, meet your new bus boy. Perhaps I could see your manager? You wanna see my manager? Here's my manager! Ow, ow, and here's the ow, assistant ow. manager! <laughs> Want to buy some popcorn? Oh, whoa there! Uh, free stim pack with the purchase of two boxes or more! A oh. for nothing and your kids for free! Going to bed! Nighty night! Don't say I never did anything for ya! Come on, the coast is clear. Quiet! They're down there, all right, but I can't hear a damn thing they're saying. Hold on, ma. Huh? I got something that'll do the trick. <laughs> You yes, asked me, hand and foot. <laughs> so I've captured the preppy young snoopers at long last. You'll be hard pressed to escape this time, I tell ya. 2023's canoe. The strange old man's words sent shivers down the bound and gagged boys' spines as beads of sweat broke out on their foreheads. They struggled desperately, but in vain. The bonds were inescapable, and the horrible reality they might finally be done for was sinking in. Then, just when things looked like they couldn't get any worse, a singular, terrifying sound broke the silence. Beep, 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 beep. Ha ha ha! It looks like my old friend Grack has arrived. That's my cue to leave. Have a blast, boys. <laughs> That's what you kids say these days, isn't it? The old man vanished through a secret door which he left ajar. Jake and Bo exchanged a terrified, knowing look as the sinister beeping grew louder and an eerie red flashing emanated from behind the secret door. The boys' hearts pounded ever faster and every muscle tightened. Then... What up the hell are you listening to? Um, a uh, 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 Vaulty Boys book? Vaulty Boys? Ain't those for kids? Oh, well, primarily. But a mystery's landed in our laps, and these things just happen to be a great resource for aspiring detectives like me. What mystery? Gosh, what mystery? Newsflash, someone's trying to kill me. It ain't no mystery there, Bo. Victoria Hornwright wants you dead. We don't know that for sure. First rule of teen sleuthing, never assume anything. The nucagram was one of her pet death claws. That hasn't been established. Aw, oh, that doesn't prove anything. Listening on? Ah, there you are, my boy. It is good to finally meet you. At last. Uh, do I know you? Well, you should, but I understand the challenges of keeping up with current events these days. I'm Moda 
Notice the multi-operation directions and utility system. Golly, that's a mouthful. It sure is, Chip. It sure is. What's all that mean? Nothing you need to trouble that impressive little Pioneer Scout mind with right now. You have bigger fish to fry. That's what you kids say these days, isn't it? Hee hee. Modus of the Enclave Bunker, where all contact with what remained of our military and government seemed to mysteriously disappear shortly after the war. Jeepers, another mystery! And who do we have here? Chip, do you mind holding your arm out so I can see your No, no, Chip, don't, I don't want to be on friend. camera. Ah, the Undertaker's daughter. Name it, Chip! Yes, business is booming. I wasn't going to mention it, but you are welcome. We offer incineration services, but seeing as that seems to be your specialty as of late, you're not doing me any favors. It's not me, really. I just give people a bit of direction here and there. What happens after that really is none of my business. What are you guys talking about? I take it you've seen those nuclear blasts that happen just about every other day? About every hour. Boy, have I. Sure glad I got my duck and cover badge when I did. Yeah, well, this creepy thing is the one responsible for it. Golly, is that so, Mr. Modus? Let's not get bogged down in who launched this nuke and who launched that nuke. You people are trying to get a casino up and running, and I want to help. Son of a bitch! Now he's got friggin' Modus on his team! Who is this little sucker? I'm quite impressed with your progress so far, and I think this place will be just the diversion Appalachian needs to get people back on track. My thoughts exactly. Quite. It's meant to be, Chip. You and I have the same goals, and I think you are just the human to make it all happen. How do you know what my goals are? Let's not get bogged down in how I know this and how I know that. Right now, we have Victoria Hornwright to deal with. Son of a bitch! Come on, we gotta put a plan together! One well-placed nuke can solve that problem. Like this guy. If you go Jeepers, to no! We're not killing Mrs. Hornwright, let alone everything in a 50 mile radius of her. 131 mile radius, but who's counting? Why not? She's trying to kill you! That doesn't justify anything. She's a businesswoman, like me. I'm sure she can be reasoned with. I'm not sure she can, Chip. In fact, the probability of it is quite low. However, you're the boss, so I'll respect that. What do you have in mind? As soon as I make enough caps, we'll offer to buy her off. There's not enough popcorn in all of Appalachia to buy her off. Quite true, but I can help with that. I'm liking the sound of this. Go outside in ten minutes. A cargo bot or two will be dropping by with everything you're going to need. Let's make old Victoria an offer she can't refuse. Now you're talking. Quite. Well, have a pleasant day. All right. So we'll start by me sneaking into her bedroom to put Chompy's head in her bed. Ooh! Why would we do that? We're not doing that or anything else the bot father suggested. You heard him. He wants us to make an offer she can't refuse. For the last time, we're not whacking anybody, capiche? Killjoy. I thought we were making her an offer. Your kind of offer, not theirs. Swell. You're making a mistake. Look, if we stoop to her level, we're no better than she is. Chip is on to something. Besides, we'll have his back. Sounds like the cargo bot is here. Christmas comes early. Hey guys, 
come out here. You gotta see this. Check this out. Oh, look at these things. Your turn to stem pack him. Nah, he'll be fine. Uh, help. See, he's still alive. Money for nothing and your caps for free. The little bastard killed Chompy, and now that sociopathic computer program is helping them get that casino up and running. <laughs> Chompy? What? Idiots! Enough is enough! Andra! Can you handle a ghoul? The question is, can a ghoul handle me? You get him to sign this deed, and that casino of his will be yours. Well, mine. But you can run it. Hey, what about me? You two are the backup plan. So here's what we're gonna do. Hey! <laughs> what the fuck is down there? What the fuck are you doing on my property? Chase it! Oh, Geronimo! Oh, shit! Yeehaw! Oh, oh, why does everything hurt so much? Am I, Am I dead? dead?